So everybody, let's begin with Jamie Dimon and J.P. Morgan's plan to keep him CEO for as long as possible. What does this incentive reward tell you, Gerard? Well, Kelly, I think it's an award that really looks at what he has done for the J.P. Morgan shareholder, their employees, and the communities in which they serve. As you may know, there's over 255,000 employees at J.P. Morgan Chase that Jamie Dimon leads. If you look at his stock price since the merger of Bank One and J.P. Morgan, its compound annual growth rates just over 10 percent, which is far better than the financial indexes and even better than the S&P 500. And then today, when you look at his valuation, he trades at a nice premium, 30, about 30 percent to its peers. And, and CEOs cannot control their stock prices. They do control their valuation. And I think that's a direct reflection on the success that he has leading J.P. Morgan. Was there, Jared, some kind of concern that he would walk away? Because as large a reward as he's getting, there's been evidently some talk that he could do even better by going into a different kind uh, of industry. So is this meant to be some sort of uh, move to close that compensation gap? I mean, you know, he's been at this company for so long now, it's hard to imagine that he would at this moment in time choose to just walk away. Yeah, Kelly, it's an interesting uh, point because, I, you know, he bleeds J.P. Morgan's blood. I, I would be shocked if he would lead to go into some other, you know, kind of industry or even, you know, into some sort of political appointment. Um, he's very passionate. He's got an incredible amount of energy and passion for what he does. And he's in a position that is very, uh, I think, important, not just to the U.S. banking industry, but the global banking industry. And there'd be tough, I think it would be tough to find a position of equal um, importance, you know, to him. So I, I'd be really surprised. I think, again, it's a reward for the success that this that he has achieved being CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase. One final quick question, Gerard, but do you think his famously dismissive comments about crypto will come back to haunt the bank at a time <laughs> when we're talking about, you know, how so a lot of the younger talent and liquidity and so much more is going to the crypto space? You know, at times he does shoot from the hip, which we all love. <laughs> I mean, that's one of the endearing uh, characteristics of this man. And... Um, I don't think it's going to be wrong on crypto. Uh, and I think he was really referring to Bitcoin at the time. Yes. Digital currencies, that's different. And I, I don't think he was referring to that. But to think of Bitcoin in those currencies as being a modem of exchange replacing the monetary system we have today is very unlikely. Digital currencies, on the other hand, will probably be part of our future as well as the world's future. Yes. And I, he... I would imagine J.P. Morgan will be at the forefront of that in many ways, like they have been uh, so much of the rest of the change and innovation in this space. All right, Jared, thank you. Jared Cassidy with RBC. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.